question more. Go behind the Iron Curtain USA. You know, most people in this room probably have read that uh, book called 1984. It was required reading in high school uh, uh, for, for so many years. And, uh, you know, I figured it out. I can explain to you where the problem is. Uh, 1984 has been read by lot. I would assume everybody in this room read it as a dire warning of what could happen to a society if you're not careful. I think a bunch of people read the book and thought it was a business plan, and they ran for Congress. <laughs> right now, the wars that have been fought in these 10 last years, it's given us $4 trillion worth of debt, are unpopular, we can't afford them, the American people want us out, and they want to bring the troops home. If they don't listen to your shouts, and if they don't listen to common sense, they're going to listen to the facts of life. And the facts of life is, we can't afford it anymore. The Soviets didn't leave because they had an enlightenment. They left because they were broke. And they so foolishly got bogged down in Afghanistan. So why don't we wise up and just take care of ourselves and defend our country and not be the policemen of the world? And the message is, look, let's stop the spending. Let's end the wars. Let's abide by the Constitution of the United States. There is a growing police state in this country. Let's stop this growing